Shaddy. Shaddy's definitely going to be on the trip, and he's getting close. He, uh, you know, there's no broken bones, just a deep bruise, and uh, he's trying to swing the bat, but he's, you know, he's probably 70 percent at the most right now. If we started, you know, if we played tonight, I wouldn't start him. So that means you have to put both those guys on the roster, or can you? How does that go? Yeah, yeah. If we're taking them, they have to be on the 27 man, so they'll both be on the 27 man. Have you ever had an animal come on the field other than that possum down there? Do you, do you um, remember? I've had an animal come on the field before. It's usually a squirrel or a cat. <laughs> Sometimes a cat chases a squirrel, but uh, <laughs> you know that's uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I would uh, I would tell you this: somebody put that possum underneath that fence. So you can take that to the bank. Do you think, though, <laughs> somebody's going to release a possum? Knowing the I really don't care. Mm -hmm. They can release whatever they want. <laughs> Maybe they'll have Mike the Tiger run around or something. I don't want him out there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's your, Fletcher's made so many catches. Do you have a favorite? How, how many would you say are gold star, and what's your favorite? I don't know. Sometimes I have to watch him again, you know. Like, I would need to have you guys show me, like, ten in a row, and I could probably pick one. But usually the catch that – you know, that stands out as one that it means more than the others. Example, the Auburn catch. I mean, that'd probably save that game for us. So I'd say right now that's probably the best one that I can say off the top of my head. You've had some great ones like Ivner and some others. Where is he defensively? Where do you stack him up? Well, as far as just getting a read on the ball, first step, uh, anticipation, he's the best. As far as athletically and running and catching it, you know, I've had some guys that were faster, but. Uh, nobody's more, made more highlight real catches than him. I'd have to say he's right there with, you know, a couple of them, obviously. With, with Cronin, are you still waiting to see if it's mono or you're just don't no, know? No, we're pretty other? sure it's mono. Yeah. And uh, I don't think it's, you know, I mean, who am I? I'm not a doctor, but I, they don't feel like it's maybe a, a super bad case of it. But he's feeling a lot better. But uh, there is protocol and we have to go by it. Do you get as jazzed up for a series, like as the fans seem to between these teams? Does this series get you going pretty good? Not, you know, not really. And, uh, you know, we try, to, we try not to show any emotion as far as coaches, you know, to the players because, you know, our philosophy is a win's a win, loss is a loss. At the end of the year, you play 30. If you get them all in and, you know, your record is what it is, you know, I think the fans get fired up about different teams more than others. But we just want to just go play well and, and get through it and get to the next one. What makes it so difficult to win there in Baton Rouge? Well, there's a lot of difficult places to win. It's hard to win at Ole Miss. It's, it's hard to win on the road if, unless you play good. You can't make any mistakes. And, uh, you know, what makes it hard there is they have a good team. They have good players. And then, uh, you know, the fans are loud, but they're loud at a lot of stadiums. But, you know, I don't, I don't think it's about playing at Alex Box Stadium or in Georgia or at Ole Miss more than it is about how does your team play that day on the field. And it's, it's – it's about you know doing all the little things right and not giving teams extra outs. If you don't do that, you got a chance to win. Yeah, as far as just being able to, to substitute and, and having players come through with Rangers, do you feel this may be the deepest team you've had? Yeah, it's, it's the deepest team that I've, I've definitely had here at Arkansas. You know, as far as if somebody gets hurt, we don't. You know, it's one of our top players. It's not going to kill us. It. Uh, you know, we've got guys on the bench that can that can play good defense and maybe not hit quite as well as somebody that gets hurt, or it might be vice versa. You know, they're a great defender, but you know, they're not a great hitter uh, that goes out of the lineup. I mean, it's just uh, it's a good feeling knowing that when you got one or two position players down and, and you still feel good about your lineup. And sometimes I write lineup up and you know, and I feel bad not having somebody in there, you know, because I feel like they deserve to play or they can help us, but we only have nine spots, so. Uh, guys are getting their opportunities. You know, you look at McFarland and Gates, platooned them, kind of went with McFarland for a while after Gates got hurt and started Gates last Friday. He didn't have a great three at bats, put McFarland in, he did better. And, you know, I may start Gates on Friday. I'm just going to keep mixing it up, keep those guys hungry a little bit. And, but it also gives us an opportunity when they make a pitching change, we can bring in a pretty good hitter to face maybe a left-handed pitcher or whatever they decide. Same with your pitching staff, too, as far as like guys like Evan Lee and Lowski and these guys stepping in? For well, it's a little bit deeper. You know, I think, you know, our bullpen, uh, you know, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13 was pretty good. So, uh, you know, I think that this was just a little inexperienced, but there's good arms down there. You know, you know that Lowski and Rindle have stepped it up to take a lot of pressure on people, and then Evan Lee coming in and getting us some big outs. Um, we still need another guy or two to, to get it done for us. What do you guys need to do to get your first Road Series win this weekend? 
Well, it would be nice if we could win the first ball game. Uh, bottom line, we just need to play better. You know, we haven't finished off games on the road. We've had leads or we've, we've made errors at the wrong time and, uh, you know, haven't gotten the big hit. You know, we just went through a little period there when it just didn't go our way. And, uh, you know, we start, it seemed like the last couple of weeks we're swinging the bat a little bit better, getting a little more clutch hits. You know, we, we've never, we haven't really had problems setting up those innings. You know, it's just a matter of coming through. And I saw some guys doing that this past weekend. You know, she's lost five of their last six conference games. As a coach, you almost hate to play them, especially at their place well, they when, when they've gone the, through a rough patch. They're all on the road, you know. I've been there. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't – wouldn't say I hate playing them. I mean, you know, they, it's – again, it's bottom line. If you play good, you you got a chance to win. We have a good team. They have a good team. Um, they're healthy now. They've got most of their position players that they felt like were going to be in their lineup. They're all in the lineup now, and they haven't been able to say that throughout the year. Uh, now we're battling some injuries, uh, but it's really just comes down to playing good that day. So I don't get too caught up in it. What would you like to see from Blaine to continue um, what you need on Friday night? Well, I think Blaine will, you know, he's had a couple outings where he's given us a chance to win. And, you know, we got him, uh, he got a win that last outing, the outing before he got a no decision. Um, you know, I think that, that he's had a little bit of a rest. We haven't pitched him a lot of pitches. and. I think he'll he'll have really good stuff on Friday. Um, I'm sure he'll be. He he knows he's got to he's got to help help this team, and he's done a great job all year. But really, help kickstart us, you know, finishing this thing up. You know that slide Fletcher had in the second base and Hoover last year was a clean slide, but their fans didn't like it. Is that the kind of thing you expect to hear? <coughs> they're they're going to say something. Yeah, about I forgot about that. Too. He just said it. I don't know what the big deal was about it myself. I mean. The runner got, or the the defender got in the way. He got in the baseline. It was yeah. shown on the video, and so the the fans didn't know exactly what happened. But if they would have taken a step back and watched what happened, the throw brought him into the line. There he was, and he just slid in the base and hit him. He didn't do anything, you know, that you're not supposed to do. Right. Uh, it's, the, it's the base runner has that path there and through the base. So you know, I work with the infielders here. I teach these guys how to defend themselves, and the first line of defense is to get out of the baseline. And, uh, you know, there's footwork for that. Sometimes the throw takes you in the line and you get tied up. That's the way it goes. But, no, I just think that their fans are going to be fired up because it's, uh, it's a big series for their team.